What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to integrate your custom domain with ClickFunnels using Cloudflare. Uh, so that way we can replace ugly links like that into something that suits your website. So it's going to have your domain.com in there instead. Okay, so let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do is sign up for Cloudflare. So I've already signed up. As soon as you sign up, you're going to have this screen, okay? So just go to cloudflare.com. I'll leave the, the URL down below. It's really simple. Uh, and just sign up. Follow, follow the easy process. It's just email address and your password. That's it. So I'm going to be using this website that we've been using in our previous videos. Um, you know, supposing this matches our diabetes page, right? Let's assume marketing success.site equals diabetes. So I'm just going to copy that. And first thing we'll need to do is put it in here. By the way, um, if you guys get stuck at any portion or you want to read through this, I am using this as a reference guide, this custom domain manual setup. I will leave the link down below for you guys as well. Um, it's just a ClickFunnels guide that allows you to do this. And again, why we're using Cloudflare is because we're using ClickFunnels and ClickFunnels only allows Cloudflare in their custom domain setup. Okay. So. I put that in there. Don't put www, don't put HTTPS, nothing like that. Just put in your domain.com or .site in our case, right? Whatever it is. And let's say scan DNS records. It should take about a minute. It's it's going to play a little video. In the past, if you wanted your website to be faster, safer, or smarter, you needed to add hardware, install software, or change your code. <laughs> if you think about it, that's also 1990s. Today, Cloudflare works at the network level by taking over your domain's DNS. This allows us to route your good visitors to the fast lane and any bad visitors to a dead end. To make sure there are no interruptions to your website or other services, we need to copy all your current DNS records before the switchover. On the next page, we've copied what we could find of your domain's DNS records. It's important we have everything, so look them over carefully and add any records we may have missed. The optimizer is finishing up. As soon as it appears, click the green button below. The next steps are easy and usually take less time than you've spent watching this video. <laughs> All right. So there you go, guys. You're welcome. Um, so we have here a bunch of different uh, forwarding networks. Um, you can leave them. That's fine. Uh, as you can see here, it's redirecting to actually that's the ClickMagic redirect. So let's delete that for now. We're going to go over ClickMagic a bit later on. So I'm just going to take that out for now. I'm going to take that out for now. So that's redirecting because we actually have it set up here like that. OK, uh, so don't worry about that for now. For you, it, it may be just blank. So what we do need to do is we need to attach this. Our custom domain to the ClickFunnels page, OK, so that we can change the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say www and I'm going to redirect this to target.clickfunnels.com. And you know what? Let me just delete that and I'll just do a new one. So I'll say, so I'm going to select CNAME record here and let's say, um, which one are we doing? Uh, yeah, let's do www first for our subdomain or host name. And I'm going to say target.clickfunnels.com. And again, if you're not sure, if you're lost, right, read it down below. It tells you the steps here. So here it's going to tell you to add um, target.clickfunnels.com. Okay, so that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, let's say add record. Let's also add an at sign. <clears throat> so it's just our domain. There's not there's no subdomain before that. And let's say also target.clickfunnels.com. Uh, if you already have something set up here with a www, you can pick another subdomain. You can pick monkeys.yourdomain.com. You can pick track.yourdomain.com, whatever you want. Okay. Um, and, and after this, I'm also going to show you briefly, uh, or maybe in another video, I'll, I'll show you how you can also integrate ClickMagic in here so you can track after you set it up. And that way, when you don't use cloaking, it's going to show your nice URL. Okay. So, uh, we're done here. That's pretty much it. Make sure they're orange. So, you know, they, they may be gray for DNS only. Make sure they're DNS and HTTP proxy as well. All right. Um, we could remove these. I don't think it's going to do anything. Um, I'm just going to leave them as is and I'm just going to click on continue. Uh, select free, free website. It gives you a nice uh, SSL uh, protection, secure protection. It gives you basically all you need, okay, to do this, what we're about to do. So, 
Now what we need to do is we need to go back to Namecheap and we need to put these in. We need to select custom DNS and we need to put these in to our name servers. So uh, here's what we currently have. We need to change it to this. So if we go here, here's my marketing uh, success dot site. It says Namecheap basic DNS. And that's what we did in the previous video. We had to do it this way to integrate it with ClickMagic. In this case, delete it, where you can't do both at the same time, right? You can't integrate it in both places at the same time. So I'm just going to select custom DNS, and automatically everything there has been deleted. And I'm going to input these guys in there. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste. There you go. I'm going to select check mark, and it should be good now, okay? So let me just double check. I'm going to go into advanced DNS right after. Yeah, so that looks good. Uh, it may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Uh, normally, to be honest, it takes me like 10 minutes, but it may take up to 48 hours. Okay, that's just my experience. So now you'll, you'll have nothing there. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay, so we've redirected it. Now that we've done that on our Namecheap, let's go back and let's go to continue. So that's it. So now it says pending. Okay, so now we just have to wait for that to propagate. Uh, and, and for our site to be available. So it says allow up to 24 hours. So um, after we do everything else, what needs to be done, I'll pause the video, I'll come back after some time, maybe like half an hour, hour, whatever, uh, and, and we'll just check up on it and make sure it works, okay? So I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. Uh, so that's fine, like don't don't click recheck name servers, you could just just basically gonna check it up again to make sure it works, but just, just leave it as is. So let's do two more things here on Cloudflare. And then we're going to go back to our click funnels and make the changes there. So here, everything looks fine. Let's go to, first of all, let's go to, uh, let's see, where was this crypto? So this is your, um, secure protection. So, so that it says secure at the top of your URL, when people land on your page, something you may want to have. Okay. So leave it at full. Leave it at full, leave it as is, that's perfect. Uh, so that's done. Now we need to go to page rules and we need to create a page rule so that your pages are redirected to a secure server. So we're gonna create page rule. We're going to add a setting. For the setting, we're gonna select forwarding URL. <clears throat> we're gonna type in our, our URL now. So we're gonna say www, we said marketing success.site. And let's put this asterisk, right? This this little multiplication sign. What that does is any <clears throat> any additional sub ID that we have. So if we have marketing success dot site slash homepage marketing success dot site slash thank you page, it's gonna work the same. So that's what that asterisk means. That it's gonna work exactly the same. We're gonna select permanent redirect. So it's gonna permanently redirect us to a secure server. And now we're gonna put that in. We're gonna say marketing success dot site uh, and we're going to put on a dollar sign which means just this secure server okay this is going to redirect us there um, so save and deploy let's do that again if we're not sure we're going to come back here we're going to read what it says we're just going to double check so we're right about on this part here um, yep we did everything correctly okay so that's perfect so we're pretty much done now all we have to do is we need to wait for this to work What's up guys, it's Yvonne, welcome back. So as you can see now, the site is active. Um, that was active in about five to 10 minutes. I did have to wait a little bit longer actually for the SSL certificate issuance, which may up take up to 24 hours. I had to wait about an hour, hour and a half for that to be set up, okay? So now that we've done that, we know our site is working. We know our domain is working flawlessly. So let's go back now and add this domain to our site okay so i went here to account and i went into uh custom domains so once you click on that it's going to take you to this lovely page so we need to add a new domain we'll say add existing because we already own it and let's say manual setup input your domain so this was marketing success dot site uh, so it's your domain.com don't put www nothing before that no subdomain okay just your domain.com uh, root of URL. So <clears throat> they don't have to say your domain.com slash something. Once they say your domain.com, it's going to take them to a specific page in your funnel. Okay. So let's make it our, uh, let's make it our homepage. So we'll make it that. So if they type just that in, they'll be taken to our homepage. All right. And er error page doesn't matter if there's an error, we can redirect them somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> 
So let's let's su suppose we have a page that says, "Hey, error not found. Please try again later." Uh, let's let's make it this, okay? And turn on your SSL because that's important, okay? That's our secure server. So there you go. That's done. Now we need to do three things. We need to go back to our funnels. <clears throat> let's go back to our diabetes test. So now we need to include this custom domain on the funnel level, on the individual step on the funnel level, and on each individual page level. <clears throat> so we'll start off by doing it on the broad scale. Let's go to settings. And I'm going to go here, my domain, and pick your domain, which is marketingsuccess.site in our example, and give it a path. So generally, this is a path that, remember, if they click on this, they'll be directed to your homepage. So put it whatever you want. I named it diabetes because that's basically what this is about, okay? Uh, what our page is about. I'll click save and update. <clears throat> and now if I click on this, visit funnel URL, it's going to show me that and it's going to be secure. Now it hasn't, uh, it hasn't updated that yet. Uh, so let me try again. Let me just do this. I'll copy that, paste that. Okay, so uh, that works. That's fine. What we have to do now <clears throat> is we have to go into each individual funnels and change that. So let's go into publishing now. Let me go to domain, marketingsuccess.site. Now name this whatever you want. So in our case, it's the opt-in page. You can name it opt-in. You can name it home, you know, whatever you want. That's totally up to you. So we've done that. And now if we click on this, it should again take us to this. So one more thing we need to do now is change this, these settings, okay? So let's make this marketingsuccess.site and let's change that as well. Let's maybe make that home, home page or home, whatever it is. And let's change this one as well. So this is now we're doing individual landing page level. <clears throat> and, I, and I said home to here because it's our second, right? It's our split test version. So that's it. So one more thing we may need to do is let's click on edit page and let's actually save it. Just so it saves, I'm going to click save. And let's go back. And I'm going to do the same thing here. It needs some time to refresh and to actually work. So give it some time. Don't expect it to work the first second. Let's go back to exit. <clears throat> let's go to the thank you page. And let's do the same thing here. <clears throat> Domain marketing success. Yeah, I'll leave it a thank you. And let's change that one as well. Thank you. Awesome. So there you go. <clears throat> Let me save that page as well. And we should be good to go. Mm, save right there. Asking us to change that. That's fine. We don't need that for now. So let's go back and let's see if that's going to work. <clears throat> there you go. So you're all good and done. Now you have this awesome site. It has that SSL certificate. So as you can see, it's secure. If for whatever reason it's not secure, you can right click, click inspect element, and it's going to show you right there what about this page is not secure, okay? So if, again, for whatever reason something's insecure, click on the page, right click, inspect, and it's going to show you right there why your page is not secure. In this case, it's secure, so it doesn't give me an error, but that's about it. Um, so in the next video, I'll make a super short video how to integrate click magic in this as well, uh, just in case you actually want to track this domain. Uh, but aside from that, 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 that's pretty much it. As you can see now, our custom domain is set here automatically. And if you click this, just your basic, or actually, even if you, even if you click, so let me show you, if I click www.marketingsuccess.site, uh, and I just leave it at that. That should work as well. And like we said, it's going to redirect us back to the homepage, which is going to be secure. Okay. So if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe. If you have subscribed already, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.